Okay, worth thank the you. Wave, worth the Bye. wave. <clears throat> you good Hello over there? there. Hello there. <laughs> <sighs> Not really right, sure what happened. Where we left off. Where okay. Uh, we were talking about how you got into the 400. Yes. Um, well. That is the way people pick that event. I feel like that event. No, the event pick, it picked me. No one ever is like, I want to go die for a laugh. Yes. Well, you know, I didn't start running to the ninth grade. And so, um, for me, I literally did every. I never ran track, but they told me it's going to help me with basketball. So I'm like, oh, yeah, because ball is life. Like, whatever's going to help me with basketball. And um, I really had to go through a series of events and learn, like, you're not really that good at this. Like, I first started with the 100, and I started in, like, lane two and ended in, like, lane seven. So, you know, they were hot. Like, this is my, I'm just going across the lanes. Wait, like, oh, no. Wait. Run that back. <laughs> Run that back. <laughs> Not yeah. to Tokyo drifting. Yes. How did you? Look, I just naturally like, gravitate right, to the wait, outside. No, you're a too old for that, right? Like, if you would have told me, I never ran. But I, I never ran. Been. So that's my natural trajectory to like go, go right, go to the outside of the lane. You do the turn left. Everyone knows it's run fast, turn left. She even I was on the straight though. Right. I was on the on straight, the so like he just. <laughs> but like, I can understand. Like, I ended in like three, four, seven. I'm, you know, they were mad at me for sure. And I'm mad at you. I knew that wasn't my okay. event, so the hundred was out. So the hundred was not your event. Then I, they had me do the eight hundred, so we skip. You know, they. So I go through the line, and they're like, "Oh no, you have another lap." Excuse you. I am, uh, so I did the other lap, and I was like, I don't really like this, and then uh, I did the 400 the next day, and I ran 64, but they said I did same arm, same leg the whole time. I don't know. I, Wait, I don't so know. You out but here. That's not even it. Yes. Jessica. I'm just letting you know how I got there. So, out of all my said, scenarios, she, that was the best one. from the one. bottom. <laughs> And now I'm here. So that's how I got into the 400. Really didn't like it. Um, but that was my best event. And, you know, I won state my freshman year. And then I was just like, man, I guess this is... Ohio. 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 So, so you went from running both arms, so that's, same yep. arm, same leg, like 64 to state champion in one season? Yeah. yeah. You know, I had a teammate who was a state runner up you know, the previous year. She was a senior, so uh, she beat me all year. She beat me all year, and I was just like, just follow after her. Just follow after Heather. And so... Um, and then something told you, just pass Heather. Heather fi Plano. Finally, finally I got to be... I don't think I beat her to, like, districts or regionals. I was just like, wow. But she had the high jump, so she was like, yeah. I was like, okay. That's cool. Now she's so, still in her brain. So what I'm hearing here is Started from the bottom, hot mess. Not even the bottom, the trenches, hot. the gutter. Like, <laughs> state champ, now one of yeah. the best 400 runners in the world. So, if anybody yeah. caught that message out there, just just work with it. And so, and, and just keep going. Like, just you keep don't have going. to put your kid in track at five. Wait till ninth yeah. grade and ninth tell how to run. <laughs> For sure. It, it took me a while. I used paid, to negative like, split. I'm still stuck on two to seven. <laughs> She's even I, left. I right. She's <laughs> right. Weird, the right. trajectory. <laughs> the trajectory. Yeah. Were so. you, can I, okay. I'm still, yeah. I'm, I'm, so were you going in front of people or behind? Because there's other people. I was in, in front of, I was going like in front. The, I, told, I told you they were very upset. That They're like, <laughs> what are you doing? Get out the way. I'm like, I'm sorry. I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm I was not ready for this tea. Have you ever told anyone this story? Have we? Is this a track or some exclusive? Uh, I don't know. You know, not not often. You know, not often. I Let's, I'll keep that unless, secret to myself. You know. Yeah, but. And I, I feel you on the hundred. I have a rule. I don't cross the finish line and not finish. Like I don't like that. 
Yeah, the well, we became state champs my sophomore year in the 4 by 8 so it kind of paid off, but, yeah, it kind of paid off. At yeah, at state. Did I have 4 by 8 at state? I feel no. like we had a 4 by 8 at state. But, all right, well, so. I can so, get our relay team regardless to get the state, so it didn't matter. The shade of it all. No, they knew. So, so how are you feeling? You mentioned you're training, you're trying to figure out when yeah. to train to, like, what, yeah. um. You know, you're looking to obviously compete for the rest of the summer. Have you? I didn't yeah. see you go over to Europe at all. Are you planning to go over to Europe? No. Um, no. Maybe. Maybe. It just kind of depends, you know, how how things kind of go. I think and just kind of seeing how numbers and things like that look. I mean, I live in Florida and, I mean, with certain things, you know, the numbers are high there. So I'm like, oh. I know it's a little more strict in Europe, which I appreciate if it is, but... So we'll see. I don't really know yet. And like I said, school starts the 30th. So I, for me, if I could just get a week. So if nothing's past the 23rd, I would love that. So I don't know when some of the weeks are. I know some of them are. That. I would love to have that but. because I feel like people think that like track is just during track season. Like we get no breaks. Like our off season is not a season. It is a week, maybe two. Depending on the year, it might be three. Yeah. But people really don't understand that coach be like, you get one one week to go to an island or something, go see your family, <laughs> either or. You yeah. can't do both. And then come right back here for fall, tra- for fall training. Well, for sure. I'm sure you're going to take a little bit more of a break. But you're she just saying you start, but she's saying she starts class in a week. So she's saying like a week of having absolutely nothing, right? Yeah. But I, I imagine that you're going to take more than a week off from training. Yeah, probably at least probably like four to six weeks, somewhere like yeah. that. Something, well, something like that. Like three week, two weeks off, and then you have to like start doing like baby stuff and like. Well, that's hearing. yeah. Well, it's crazy. So, <laughs> so how are how are you feeling after trials? How are you? First of all, you had a great season. Um, Thank I you. was down here watching you. Like, ooh, Jess is out here killing it. I need to get my butt <laughs> on the track. How how are you feeling? After trials with the rest of the, yeah. the season coming up, races coming up, feeling good about closing out the year on a good note? Yeah, for sure. I am, you know, I wanted to, I wanted, I want to run like 50 point again, at least, you know, I feel like that's one of my main goals. Um, I'm just like, man, it's 51-1, just keep, I don't know, it's just keep showing up. I'm just like, uh-uh. So um, hopefully I'll have a couple more races to to do that and finish out the season. Um, that's a high note for me, you know, uh, yeah. trying to accomplish that and just really finishing healthy. I think that's the, the, the main thing. Cause when you're healthy, you can train like you want, you can compete like you want and, um, yeah. And, and so you can just, it's just better when you're healthy. I, I know y'all know that. Uh, um, so yeah, I, I think that's the biggest thing. Just trying to stay healthy, trying to stay, you know, in it, it's, it's kind of hard. Like, like I said, a lot of my training partners are, you know, either away, um, at the Olympics or I'm not there in Florida. So kind of, you know, training on your own, you know, getting up every day and being like, Hey, remember you said you wanted this. I'm like, I know, but I also said I wanted cake. So, you know, you got to just keep pushing past the things like, okay, you can't have no cake, you know, not right now, you know, have grapes instead. Just like, uh, Yes, I not have cakes. Great. I, and I, you uh, know what? I think that's something that's missed about our sport, right? You're bringing up a great yeah. point that, like, a lot of times, not even just the Olympics. Sometimes it's a track yeah. meet that maybe your coach yeah. went with your your training partners, or vice versa. You went to a track meet and your coach stayed back, um, yeah. and you still have to work yeah. without your coach there. You still have to find that motivation without your training partners there to push you through the workout. So, so I think that that's a, a great um, point that you bring up that I don't think a lot of people get that sometimes we really are, we call it an individual sport, but sometimes we really are out there individually. Yeah, sometimes yeah. we're like, hey mom, can you time, she, no, 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 one thing about track. And I'm like, this, <laughs> this yell out when the clock says 15, <laughs> And she's like, okay, I don't know why you have me out here. I, mom, mom will come to practice with a book. And I'm like, I need to pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're just out there just trying to sometimes you don't even have someone out there to call mm-hmm. out times and you're just trying to yeah. hit the time stay on pace. Like, that was off too fast too slow well like for sure 
or if you got one of those watches, you can put the little time, you know, the time is supposed to be here beeping like, oh my gosh, I only got five seconds to get here mm -hmm. and it might take me six. So yeah, for sure. It's definitely a, a, a process just to, to stay in it and to stay, um, just, just motivated, you know, intrinsically, like even when you do have other people, it, it does help, but you have to keep showing up, you know, mentally yeah. and, and physically. So y'all know how it goes. And if y'all need, if y'all can't motivate yourself and you need a little help to get the, the tummy right, get it tight. But beyond the tummy, Jessica posts, like, I don't want to say beyond because we are going to talk about that, but you post very motivational and encouraging um, content. So you need a little pick me up. You need uh, some spiritual guidance. Jessica, Rain 2 is the one to follow yeah. and get your fix. Thank is you. it Faith Bill Friday? Did I get that? Yeah. Right? Yeah, but, that's right. But on Tuesdays, we tell me right. So <laughs> it's, you can also go to her her website and do some one on one coaching, one on one session, and just get the core together. I haven't seen any abs like it. So <laughs> go ahead and book thank one you. Bless it. Yes, it's been it's a it's a journey. Well, y'all know how I it is. Like you know, popping up. So. Uh, let me let me check. We don't tell producers. them to have you have your. Um, <laughs> Tummy time sessions. Pop yes, up. I'm yeah, actually gonna post. Well, I'm gonna post it on my YouTube because they're like, you're the most YouTube and non YouTube in person I know. I'm like, oh my gosh, nobody told me it takes all of this. It's so and, much work. You know, with I'm cutting it down. I'm like, oh, I don't like that. Oh, I, I want this here. Oh, I want this here. I'm like, oh my gosh, no music, music. You know that kind of thing. And so, but I do have a. Um, I'm gonna put part of it on my Instagram today, but I do have a Tummy Tuesday video on um that i'm gonna put on my youtube because i had several people that's like i was YouTube doing tummy tuesday with you um it's uh rain gold rain gold but like rain like i rain as a king queen not rain yes like, rain yes. down on me um that's not where okay. i thought you was going we with that do a we should probably do a a track girl summer tummy time where we collab we follow. i feel so i feel like we don't, yeah. we okay. hit you guys up. i'm subscribed because I, I need to get my yeah. four together Same. i haven't i i was i've been injured and i've just been like well flo was like you're off for 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 the next foreseeable and i was just like okay i haven't done, i haven't touched a core ab or anything <laughs> so i'm gonna need to do a cruncher too okay well you can I just try the to be it's I 150 abs class. I have okay. beginner. I have beginner in advance, but I have the beginner's gonna be too easy. But I, I give do, me intermediate. Like, in the, I you know, and that's what I'm kind of working on. Y'all, <laughs> y'all are funny. The the Tummy Tuesday video is gonna be 150 abs in four minutes. I know y'all, or less than four minutes. I know y'all can do that. That's like light work. Light work. They said give us a preview now. Uh, yeah. So, I mean, you don't have to give us a preview, but yeah, give us a little breakdown of what the different packages are. Beginner, intermediate, okay. advanced. I think okay. I made a preview. No, she got a preview. Oh, she got a preview. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, so the intermediate, I'm working on that. That's supposed to be at the... Uh, because I realized that some people weren't advanced, but the beginner was too easy. So the beginner program is pretty much set up where you'll do like three days a week, and then you'll... Um, you, it's actually like breaks in between. And I also recommend like different exercises for you to do because, you know, doing abs alone, you have to do some type of cardio. And so I have like a nutrition card in the, um, in the packet, which pretty much are recommendations of things that I try to tell you to avoid during the 30 days. So, you know, I'm saying I'm like no soda, no white sugar, no fried foods, you know, those are all just suggestions uh, cause as y'all all know, it's not just exercise. It's also if you don't like your results. Don't come crying to me. If you don't come if you're not gonna do fried. it. All right, <laughs> cause this is just for but we thirty can do brown days, sugar, right? Sure. <laughs> Let's try. Honey. Just can I have there's brown honey. There's honey. There's agave. Um, okay. And, How and about then stevia? Like the, stevia okay? Ooh, I hate yeah, that is. Stevia is good. That aftertaste. Stevia is good. Um, and then like I want to say like on the first day, it's it's the beginner is really light. It's say it's like 10, 10, and 10, 10 of something. I mean, it's really just trying to get you going, but then it'll increase either in like reps, uh, in sets, 
you know, it'll go up to 15 and, and that kind of thing. And it really is just over a course of 30 days. It's really just to get people to um, form a habit or a routine uh, just for discipline. So like I said, so some days it might tell you abs and it'll tell you um, a cardio. And I'll literally, it'll literally say, you know, elliptical, um, you know, jog, jump rope. And then it'll be from like, you know, I think I recommend 30 to 45 minutes of some type of cardio. And then I also have days in there where I'm incorporating, like, you need to rest. Because I think sometimes people are like, you must work out every day. Yeah. You know, I, you only eat carrots. I'm like, what is going on here? I eat cool meals. And so, you know, just trying to get people into the routine. Some of the people I do the Zoom sessions with. So we meet for 40 minutes on Zoom and we do kind of like a warm up. Uh, and then we do abs and the warm up is pretty much just to get your blood flowing. It's almost like hit in a, in a sense, if you're thinking about something, so high intensity intervals, um, and what else? I, yeah, I think that in on there, you know, I had a woman, she's like, I love juice. You know, I have a class. She's like, I, I can't stop juice. And I was like, I don't want you to go cold Turkey, but if you're drinking juice every day, like for the next two weeks, let's try to do it for three or four days. So now they people have to pick and choose. Oh my gosh, this day I'm not going to have juice. And I remember she was like, oh my gosh, I'm down to juice to one day a week. I was like, okay, look at you. And Perfect. incorporating more water. Yeah, or I told her, you want lemonade? Make it yourself. I think a lot of people, you know, once you tell them, oh, make it yourself, they're kind of like, that's a lot of work. I don't really want to do that. But that's actually healthier because now you can see how you much, see how you're, much putting you're putting in it. Yeah, it's how many best. limits you have to use your water. So... So that's pretty much what the what the programs are. I think I also want to create something, you know, that's kind of in the works right now where people can kind of do it with me. So you click on it and we're literally doing, it'll say what the workout is, but then we'll do it together. Like I'm literally going right. through I'm the workout back. with you because I think some people need that type of um, accountability. Mm -hmm. So I think that's also, you know, another thing. But at the same time, no one's going to be more accountable than yourself. And I always tell them that like, I'm proud of you but not more proud than you should be of yourself because you're doing the work. Um, and so. And if, oh, yeah. and if your Instagram is rain too. Or two. Two. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Go follow Jessica. On. If you, if you're like, Oh you, no, like go look at her abs and I guarantee you don't want to get on her program exactly. because Lord dang. Also, if you refresh your feed, we have her uh, tummy Tuesday offer down at the bottom so just refresh your feed and you can click on that and um you'll get all of the packages all of the information is right there she made it very easy for you to sign up for beginner and immediate advanced uh nothing better than being um motivated and supported by the professional herself yeah um as she said she gives suggestions and if you don't yeah. follow the suggestions that's on you <laughs> but the the results speak for themselves as yeah. you can see if you go to yeah. rain two and go to tummy tuesday yeah that's that oh. she's just because i feel like i'm the most undisciplined disciplined person like i'll do something if someone tells me to do it no problem but like routines <laughs> are very hard for me to get into like mm -hmm. doing well, something once i have the routine it's it's fine but i just said this earlier mm -hmm. like 30 days it's about once Building you do habit. something for a certain amount of time then it becomes a habit yeah. it's it's the yeah. the challenge to start the habit yeah, yeah. for sure especially uh, i've had some people's like you know i'm ready to lose weight and after the first day that's like i'm not coming back i'd rather just you know stay high i am so kind of just realizing like pain is a little bit of the process i mean we hear that but when you actually feel it you know just like the first week back you're like oh my gosh the weight room i can barely walk or you know this workout i can barely breathe and it's just like, man, all of that's just, well, you should be breathing, though, through Tummy Tuesday. If you're not breathing, then we don't breathe. But <laughs> just, you know, just with certain things, it's just how important it is to yeah. to really just to stick with it, even if a part of the process is difficult. That's what I should use, difficult. Yeah. Because it always gets worse before it gets better. I tell everyone, like, when I, when yeah. you start, you know, when I tell people, like, hey, going natural, whether it's doing a workout, they always like you're gonna struggle, and then all of a sudden you're like, oh, this is a little easier, this is a little easier. Someone said it takes 21 to 60 Jessica days. Said it takes 21 yeah. days. Anywhere in between <laughs> okay. that that range, yes. So anywhere from three weeks to a couple months. Uh, did we miss today's Zoom? No, it's at seven. Well, I have different slots because some people's like seven doesn't really work for me, but uh, it's at seven today, seven p.m. Eastern time. But I also have like eight p.m. because I just realized that some people. 
you know, they work late, which I, you know, for me, that was just foreign. You know, I'm going to practice at nine in the morning. I'm like, the day's done. You're not done by three. (laughs) I'm done by one. I know. I'm like, this is nuts. (laughs) And if you're on the West Coast trying to link in, like, eight is Yes, and five. All, all these things, I'm just like, man. So then, like, Tuesdays used to be the best option for me because I'm normally off on Wednesday, so I can go to 9 o'clock. Because in the summer in Florida, we're having 7 a.m., 7.30 practices because it's so hot. Right. So I'm in in sense. bed 9 o'clock. So, yeah. So yeah. Okay. I, I have a question. I have a question yes. for, for you two as a unit. What What's it like being on that 4 by 4 team? What is it like? Depends. <laughs> Depends on the uh, what part of it are you talking about? Yeah. And then I'm I want to know. I'm like, okay. I'm, you know, I'm just gonna sit here, get my <laughs> and just sit, just. Well, I will say I, I don't think the four by four has as much drama as the four by one does. For sure. Really? I don't think so. No, no I think before Jessica no, came on the scene. <laughs> I would just like to yeah. say 20, 2015. and then I'm. That's all I'm gonna say. 2015. Oh yeah, that was. Yeah. That was uh, but yeah, but see, I think it just drama, depends. Yeah. yeah, the drama is actually more so the outside folk talking, mm. but inside, y'all cool, y'all be cool, my ass? I wouldn't say that. All right, but I wouldn't yeah, say I, that. Like <laughs> we're talking mess to each other. Yeah. On the, it's kind of like drama exists, but we got a job to do. So the drama, mm. like. I always say because if I, you let the drama come between my check, then and I always say that like I don't. Well, what do you think, Jess? For, I think it's changed over the years. I feel like from my first year in '09, you know, when I was 20, and it's like you're the youngest on the team to you know 2019. I feel like it's drastically different. Both of those experiences, even some of the other ones. I think with any sport, there's politics. And of course, I think there are some. I feel like now what, I, what I've what i witnessed in like 2019 is to some degree politics being set aside and it really being decisions made based on um, performance and who's kind of, you know, shown their fitness rather than other factors that have been, I feel like kind of at the forefront, you know, as far as preference and, you know, um, whatever other, um, yeah, whatever other things that people might consider, oh, this is more important. You know, it used to be like in 09, it was like, you ran well on your first leg, but you're not going to win the final because you don't have as much experience, you know? And of course I'm like, I'm 20. I'm like, this is so true. This is my first team. I don't have any experience. Like you're, you're completely right. And then as I got older, I'm just like, man, if you never run in a final, how do you get experience? experience? And Mm -hmm. so then it it became, you know, is it just about experience or is it about, you know, how somebody looking at training over there, or is it about, well, this person placed this high at trial, so they have to be on it, even if, you know, they don't look as fit as somebody else. And so I've seen all these other factors, relay coaches, some coaches, you know, preferring a certain athlete on the relay. I've seen it like 2019, I think was the especially one of the first years where I saw people say, you know, a lot of people's like, it's going to be like this because this is how it's always been. And then something totally different was, I feel like all the people who ran the final were the people who were supposed to run the final based on performance, based on, you know, um, what they achieved there and in that time. And I don't know, I think that's a great thing because that means to me that the sport is progressing in, in a positive manner. You know, I feel like I used to have to kind of give that speech you know, I, I told Phyllis once, I was like, I know you're doing well, but if they, they're probably not going to pick you. You know, I'm like, don't get your hopes up. And I yeah. was like, man, I hate to give this speech to a young person coming in. And now I don't feel like that's necessarily the case, you know, as I felt like it was always the case for, for the most part, like 90% of the time. So I'm happy to see the sport progress in, in that way, where it's like, man, you know, like we saw two 400 hurdlers on the four by four. four yeah. And I feel like I used to see like Lashinda on it, you know, mm-hmm. and, and I mean, she, I mean, she won worlds that year, but other than that, you know, I, I don't feel like I've really seen that, but it made sense. And so to me, um, I feel like the integrity of the sport, as far as the four by fours have gotten better and more fair than previous years where I felt like it's completely unfair, uh, in some instances. So I, I like that you, um, 
because I wasn't there in 2019, but I was a part of some drama in 2017. And I chose to speak up. And in speaking up, I realized that a large part of the issue was, as you said, the politics and just kind of normalizing what it was that like we had gotten used to that, like the coaches are going to pick their favorite. Yeah. The coaches are going, they're, they're going to do the whole experience thing, Yeah, you know, and I just kind of got to the, the point where it was like, okay, if they pick me, they pick me. I'd done several years of like just running the prelims and then yeah. made my way into like running the final, not running the prelim, yeah. but only running the final. Yeah. Um, but then also seeing how there was total miscommunication and, and a mm-hmm. communication in a way that I was like, I'm not used to this. I'm at least told you're running or you're not running or you're in a runoff yeah. or you're not in a runoff. Yeah. And in my situation in 17, I was in a runoff that I didn't know that I was in a runoff. Yeah. And so I spoke up for that. But then in speaking yeah. up for it, I realized that other athletes were in the same position before where it was like, yeah. they wouldn't even know till the morning of that they were running the final. Yeah. And it's like, how do you prepare for the final at the Olympics? And you don't even know you're running till the morning. Like that's not, yeah. but that was the culture of yeah. the relays. And we had all kind of just a, grew to accept yeah. that, you know? For sure. um, so it makes me happy to hear that after that, um, yeah. hopefully some of the yeah. kerfuffle that I kicked up yeah. <laughs> made a change in that, like throw yeah. politics out. Like it's really about putting the best four legs out there. Yeah. You got to show fitness. You got to show camaraderie, professionalism, all those things to show up on the track. So that that makes me happy to hear. And hopefully we see some more of that professionalism. Yes. Um, Because now we have two relays. Yes. And that. Yeah. It's even that is. is, I love it. I mean, 2019 was the first time I ever ran in for it to be at Worlds. I was just like, man, this is what I've been missing out on. You know, at at uh, World Relays, but I, I really, really enjoyed it. Um, it's kind of nerve wracking, like you know, when someone's coming in and you're like, you're trying to and wave them in, like, what am I supposed to do? And I'm like, like oh my, I'm like, do I get out hard? Like, I mean, we were practicing, it and I was just like, man, he done almost went past me. Like, this is something. But it was, it was just a great, a great feeling. I feel like you know. I can only imagine my, maybe how it would have been if it kind of switched up and I was my leg was against a guy. I don't know. It, I don't know how I would have yeah, felt about like, that. I, in probably head, good like, and bad. If Fred Curley is running me down, <laughs> like, I don't know. How. What am I supposed to do with that? I Let me tell you, I, will, I when I heard about the mixed relay, I was like, mm, I don't know if I'm interested in that, especially okay. if, like, you can put your legs however you want to. There's no, like, yeah. you know, um, but also I do like the opportunity that it creates for everyone in the sense of yeah. like, no shade, no tea, team USA. We just yeah. got so much talent <laughs> that thank yeah. God we have another relay now on legs, on legs. Yeah. to put some, some people that yeah. like you're performing awesome, but sorry, we're team USA. Yeah. You're just not that good on team yeah, USA. We have so <laughs> many, but then it does provide yes. other opportunities also for other countries as well. Like, to get Team to USA. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. you know, actually, we didn't win the first one in, um, at World Relay. We didn't get it right. The Bahamas we, but won. At this point, I just, like, I expect us, when it comes to realism, I'm like, I expect us to win. I expect Especially, excellence. That's, I mean, y'all, y'all have, y'all have spoiled me. Um, I have a question. For both and that's the truth. That's the truth. I know Natasha remembers in like 2013, we really won. But at the time, we got second because um Russia cheated and so like that was the question everywhere was like are you guys happy with a silver medal or like oh. would you have preferred the gold I'm like everybody well, prefers the gold we got because we were uh screw faced on the podium oh <laughs> uh, they were like y'all should have looked you know and so it's like a double-edged sword like y'all should have been grateful y'all got a medal grateful. but then it was like grateful to lose medal. it's just like it's, it's, it just was a, it was just a very interesting place to be in. I mean, literally. And then, you know, the questions were just about, you know, you didn't have, you know, we didn't have Sonya. Allison had got hurt that year uh, in the, in the 200. So they were like, do y'all think y'all would have won without them? Or what? I'm just like, what are all these questions? And, you know, the reality was, I had to tell them like, we're not always going to have 
them. We're not always going to have Natasha. I'm not always going to be running. Like, right. at some point, we have to learn how to win just as Team USA. It's it's less about, you know, winning as uh, individuals when it comes to the relay. And it's more about winning, you know, um, as, a, as a team. So, I man, always, I just... It kills us, and that's a whole other topic, but we... It's hard for us <laughs> to be a team, man. It is... <laughs> It's oh, hard for us to be collective. For sure. <laughs> for what? Sure. You know, I think. Yeah. yeah. What leg do you guys prefer on the relay? I like second, second or third. I like the the inside legs. Yeah, you know, as a professional, I've never ran last that I really can remember outside of like pin relays, and that was the leg I always ran in college for the mm-hmm. most part. So I feel like I had to learn a new leg being, you know, I was like, oh, I like second. And they were like, uh-uh, those are other people's legs. I'm like, okay, put me, um, don't put me first. Put me third. And it was like, I, maybe we could fit you in. But now I realize, like, I actually like first. I like, the only thing I don't like is now I got to watch all the other three legs. And I don't care if I feel like we got the best three people. My chest is just like, I'm well, just like, I come on, like- each leg. You just and like I'm dead and tired, but I'm still trying to cheer. And I'm. But I almost like <laughs> so now I don't like first leg, but I like the idea of being done because then now yeah. I'm standing there watching. And Lord, like let me get the stick in first, which we always do. Now I'm like, oh God, please don't catch me. Please don't let nobody yeah. walk me down. <laughs> please don't let me throw away what these girls just did. Yeah. I was the same way in college. Like I'm a control freak. I wanted to be anchor leg because if we gonna lose someone needs to come get me or I need to not get somebody. But then as a pro, I mean, I was never on like team USA, but I would, with our team, I was, when I was running with Bobby's group, my job was just to give the baton to Allison in first. Cause she, I would go first, you go second. And, ma- and she made my life easy. I said, here you go. Do what you need to do. Yeah. We haven't had that many different anchor legs as far as I want to say like team USA that I can remember. I think in 2011, uh, the coach at the time had told Francina, like, you're going to be the first anchor, like, outside of, like, Sonya's been doing this since, like, 2000 or 2004, and we're in 2011. Because yeah, Allison's usually second. Someone asked, is there a worse it's, leg? I feel like le- the last leg would be um, so pressurized. So, I think it just kind of depends on, one, what place you're in, and two, like, the type of mentality that you have. You have some people, like, uh, Rod Benjamin like at Worlds when he, when he was going to be on anchor, he I remember him saying like, man, I kind of wish we was behind a little bit so I can go get him. I'm like, huh? I, that's I the best, be that's the best part. part. That's when the, I, like. I, I, like. Love, <laughs> I love blood in the water. Like, I'm coming for you. Yeah. I'm so, yeah. I don't like yeah. running from and So head. it just kind of depends. But then he was like, if I'm in the front, like, it's also like, okay, I know they coming and I'm going to be coming too. Like, you're going to have to come hard. So, you know, I think it just kind of depends on um, it's, it's a part of the, being a the athlete. Right? We all have our preferences of like how we, but at the end of the yeah. day, the job has to get done <laughs> from yeah. behind or the front. So, at the end of the day, this for is sure, be in the front when we cross the finish line. Like, however you got to get sure. it, get it, get it exactly. All right. Well, Jess, thank you for joining us. I just want to ask. Um, yeah. you know, what's next? Next year is a world championship year. Then yeah. we also have, you know, a very short Olympic cycle. Are we yeah. going to go for another team? What, what's, what's the plans? I'm not really sure. No pressure. Her, you know, Tell us your life. I'm not really You're sure. I will, so initially, like before COVID hit, my plan was like, you know what? Like, oh my gosh, I'm going to be done after worlds. Cause it's in like, you know, it's in the U S like that was, that was originally my, my thing. I was like, you know, make the team. And then when I just missed the team by that spot, I'm just like, you know, my sister, she's like, come on, sissy. Like, I think it's only three years. It's, I'm just like, woo, another three years of training. Another. <laughs> I don't think people that one that. Is- when people ask me that I'm like, I'm looking forward to not training like this anymore. Yeah. Like, of course I'll continue to train yeah. and stay fit. Yeah. But the, the yeah. way that we pain. train, yeah. 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 It's it's something. So a part of me is like one thing I for sure wanted to do is finish my degree. 
Um, I want to be a high school AD. And so a part of my degree plan for this semester is actually like a practicum internship somewhere that I have to figure out somewhere in Houston or Austin or somewhere that's not too far uh, of a drive if I have to. Um, and then a part of me is like, dang, what, what if I get like, you know, what happened if I get a job as a, you know, as something that I want to do after sport? Like, do I turn that down? Because I'm like, so, you know, I feel like that's always been my life. Oh, I really want to, but I got to train. Oh, I really want to, but I'm going to Worlds. Oh, I really want to, but I have USAs. Like, that's always been it. And so I think it just kind of depends. I for sure want to do 2022, uh, especially it being in Oregon. But I I just don't know. I think if, if somebody convinces me to go to 2023, I probably will try 2024. But they would have to convince me to go to 2023. Yeah. And I just don't know about that. So that's my, that's, that's my goals. You know, like I said, eventually... Uh, I love inspiring people. I love helping and reaching out, but I also just want to to use my platform uh, about way. to for other things I'm passionate about. Yeah, I love kids, and I want to help them. You know, get into whether it's trade school, into college. You know, I want to um, help coach. You know, other athletes, especially young girls who you know who are like, "Wow, oh, you're from where I'm from." you know, um, and you've gone to these places. So me too. And so I'm like, man, I want to be hands on. And so that's, that's my main, that's my main focus. And so I'll just kind of see how the, how the cards lay. Like I said, 2022 for sure. But if, if I decide to retire after 2022, I'm okay with that. And if I decide to keep pushing for 2024, y'all pray for me, y'all eat for me, y'all eat all the things that I ain't going to be able to have. And, you know, uh, somebody got to let me play with their kids. Like, hey, you know, uh, do something. So it sounds like because there is life after track. Yeah, I think, yeah. I think yeah. you bring up a really For great sure. point because I feel like track, I always have to feel like track. Life on hold. Yeah, it's like, I tell people, it's not a job, it's a lifestyle. Like, it's 20, what I eat, how I sleep, like, all that. And there's so many, t- like, we are more than athletes. Like, we have other interests, other skills, other talents. But a lot of times we don't get to explore those because – Track is yeah. so consuming that we have to put so many things on the back. Where I remember this one guy, he was like, I'm, I never see you out for it. How come you don't? I was like, I practice. Right. He was like, but I, no, I practice. And I was, I was like, the only day I don't have practice is Sunday. And I use that day to prepare myself to get ready for practice. <laughs> oh yeah. um, and so it's, I'm glad that you have like a plan to yeah. explore your, because you clearly have so many gifts and you have such a giving heart. I think everything she said, she was just like, I want to help this person. I want to help kids. I want to. So by the way, I'm going to be you up to come and talk to my NHF girls. So. Yeah, Thanks for sure. Girl. For sure. Because, you know, I'll be back in college station, just a little hop, skip in the, in the drive. You know, y'all look fabulous. By the way, y'all didn't tell me that I was supposed to be looking fabulous. Y'all, you know. It's I, I, I took a, I took a look at the. Yeah. And you showing them how chat girls do. Because I feel like people only see us like this. They don't see us like, you know, how y'all look at, but we, we, try to we got to work or two. Yeah. That's yeah. okay. Uh, we'll have you back for the 400 and, you know. Okay. You can... And you, first of all, someone said this in the beginning. They said, uh, Jessica Beard has the best smile in the game. So all you got to do is wear that and your exactly. dress. <laughs> you look bomb. Yeah. I'm looking at the comments. Uh, one, you. someone said that they're learning so much about track and field through this show. And I that's the whole reason we're doing it because I feel like, not a lot of people understand exactly what we do. We are bringing the culture to track and field. And then someone says, with crazy busy schedules, do you guys like meal prepping? Um, or do you have another method to help with meals during a tough training week? I'll let Jessica go yeah. and tell what you do. Um, I, I don't like meal prepping uh, just because I don't like heating my food up. I normally try to cook for like the next day. So I normally like if I cook, it's also something I can eat the next day. I'm a snacker. People will, if people are hungry, they're like, what snacks do you have? I'm the person that's bringing my little um, strappable cooler on my shoulder to practice because I, I so me, I don't, prep, do. I guess for the long Everyone. run, but I, yes, I'm prepping like, okay, you're going from here to the weight room in 45 minutes. You know, where is your protein? I where I have like yogurt, breakfast. fruit for sure. So I'm I do lie. prep I'll in that sense. Reps. Okay, no, I, for sure I have you know I'll do nuts it depends on the workout some things I'm just like who got the water in the shade because that's I can't even take anything but I am that person I don't necessarily meal prep over um, a, a lot of days but I will cook maybe for like the next day 
Um, and cause I enjoy cooking. So being in the kitchen is sometimes just like, oh, I love being in here. It's like, so let's, so, so yeah, uh, that's me. All your food. I like, I like, no, no, Natasha's got the cheat code. Okay. Let me tell you, let me tell you guys something. I was over here getting, tell we're us. getting ready for the show, trying to do stuff. <laughs> and I was, I was, I was exhausted, tired, hungry. And her mom was like, oh, I cooked a little something. <laughs> Gourmet cook? meal. Gour- gourmet meal. I, I, I hugged your mom several <laughs> times this night over this meal. I, I held that little deer in my arm. back for seconds. I wanted to go back for Thursdays, but I didn't want to be rude. Um, I, Natasha is blessed beyond measure, okay? Her cup brought us over. And, and I'm over here. Oh, I'm over here trying to cook myself a grilled chicken, and she's she's got her mom throwing down. <laughs> I I, I, yeah, I'm like. Oh yeah, you haven't had the payout yet, but. Yeah, I, here's the thing. I, I I asked this woman to adopt me. No no shade to my mom. I love you. No shade to Lena. Because when my she's just out of town. Because my mom does cook when she's in town. <laughs> she out of um, town. She's trying, she's trying to find that nineteen dollar frontier flight flight to get out here. Um, but. <laughs> <laughs> Which, aye, aye, do you aye. know if you buy Frontier or Spirit at the airport, it's cheaper? Did you know that? Like, okay, so the, uh, we we were fine. gonna buy tickets I, that cost like hundred and thirty dollars. See, we went to the airport; they were forty two ninety nine. See, same ticket, same round trip ticket. Frontier and Spirit. I don't, I don't know about Spirit all the time. You might not get where you're going, but with Frontier, That's I'm, I'm like, I need my mom to land. Keep, find, find, find they hub. Find their hub. Find their hub. If you find their hubs, hub cities, the plane might get there. If you going where you just got an overnight bag, best of luck to you. But <laughs> if you, I'm trying to tell you, I didn't know that you can, you'll save at least $30 by buying those tickets at the airport. Nobody else that nobody else works like that, but you no, free, you I, I'm not, See, I'm not trying to shout them out. I'm just trying to get people to save because I'm big on saving money. Yes. So if you're going to plan on using those airlines, buy them at the airport so you can save money. <laughs> Do you, so you guys don't eat during workouts? I, I'm the type of person like, you know how some people like like to run on empty stomach? I like to be, a, like if I'm a little hungry, I'll pass out on you. So I will be. In Do the you eat breakfast of- in the morning? I eat breakfast, lunch. I'm a I'm a mealer, but I also like I like to have what? like, huh? I I eat all the time. What I about to say what you eat for breakfast? Oatmeal. Um, it depends. Like I'll I usually eat oatmeal, but that no. Oatmeal, oatmeal, well, like oatmeal. It's not enough. No. It's not enough. It has to be oatmeal and a smoothie, or I like to do like an omelet or Eggs? a breakfast okay. burrito. You doing an omelet before practice? This is the thing. Oh, and that's a. Oh wow. Unless it's weights, weights, I'll just have like a smoothie and then I'll like eat. I'll have breakfast. I'll have breakfast after weights and then I'll go to practice. But I eat and then I'll eat during practice. Like ask all the kids yeah. know if you need some. If you're like, oh, I'm hungry. Like go ask Porch. Probably have something in her bag. Um, all right, we'll take this one last question. How much do your agents and peeps take care of, or are you on your own figuring out your meal stuff? Agents do track meets and contracts. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. What you eating is For on sure. you. <laughs> yeah. I can't train my empty stomach. Someone has to be trained. Yeah. No. No, I, I at least have to have I a have smoothie. have to eat. If, if, yeah. if anything at all, I have to have a smoothie, but better to have breakfast. I can't um, so, Jess, thank y'all thank for you having for me. joining us. Um, everybody yes. look out for Jess. Um, if you refreshed your um, browser, Tummy Tuesday is down below. Also, make sure that you follow Jess. On Instagram, Instagram, Twitter, Rain to Facebook too, and YouTube. Uh, rain, rain, yeah, on Twitter, Run to Rain, Rain Gold. And I try to put Rain, you know, just to keep it consistent, somewhere in there. So yeah, just look for Rain, rain and we'll find her. <laughs> All right, thank well, y'all thank you for, for having me. Thank you I for doing this for the chat community. Yes, yes. Aww, Bring the culture. <laughs> yes. Yes. yes, this is one of my favorite people. Yeah. We need to bring her back with Phyllis because them together. Oh yeah, Philly Phil. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, we'll for sure have to do it. If I'm in Austin, then me and Phyllis can be like at the same place. Then we can. Oh yeah, Ooh! we could do that. Yeah. Yeah. Are you vaccinated? Okay. For sure, because you know my mom wouldn't give me a hug without um okay. when I only All have right. one shot. Oh. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Sure. All right. <laughs> My mom's down there like, oh wow. <laughs> okay.
Thanks, Jess. <laughs> Thank you. Right. Bye.